What up, Snapchat fam? Carlos Skill here, author of The End of Marketing and an award-winning Hispanic Snapchat storyteller. Before I get started, I wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Snapchat. For those of you that have followed my content throughout the years, you've probably seen dozens of Snapchat tutorial videos like the one that you're about to see, which is why I was really excited when Snapchat reached out to see if I'd be down to collaborate with them. Now, Snapchat has changed a lot over the last couple of years. In fact, it's grown up. It's not only a go-to resource for millennials and Generation Z to consume micro content through the discover section of the social network, but also Snapchat offers robust augmented reality filters, which are really fun to use. In addition, Snapchat also has an expanded advertising tool set called Snapchat Instant Create, which I'm gonna show you how it works. But first, this is why you should consider advertising on Snapchat. If your business is trying to reach Generation Z and Millennials, Snapchat reaches more 13 to 24 year olds than Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger combined, which equates to over 3.5 billion snaps created each day. Also, on average, users spend over 30 minutes on Snapchat every day. And Snapchat content is intended to humanize your brand, which is what I preach in my book, The End of Marketing. Now, let's take a look at Snapchat's advertising platform, also known as Snapchat Instant Create. Okay, so right now I am on Snapchat's homepage, which is snapchat.com. The first step is to click on ads and either sign up for a new ads account. If you haven't used Snapchat ads, I would encourage you to go through some of the different case studies and familiarize yourself overall with the platform or go to log in, assuming that you've already signed up for an account like I have in my case. Now, before I go into how to use Instant Create, I wanna call out two key features. The first is Creative Library. Creative Library is where you're gonna go to upload and or store created that has been designed off of Snapchat. In my case, this is what the ad looks like that I'm going to run on Snapchat for the purpose of this demonstration. As you can see, the ad is optimized for mobile consumption. It's animated, it jumps out at you, but it goes direct into the point, which is in my case, I'm looking to advertise my book, The End of Marketing, with the intent of driving Snapchat users over to Amazon to buy the book. Also, I wanna point out audiences. If you have an email newsletter or a CRM, I encourage you to go to audiences and upload a CSV file containing email addresses. What Snapchat's going to do is match up the email addresses that you upload along with on their end, their database of users. That way you can drive your ads in front of users that are a part of your CRM and or your newsletter. Now, let's get into the good stuff. With Instant Create, you can create a single ad in less than five minutes, and I'm gonna show you in the next couple of steps how you can take your creative, how you can target specific users, and then get your ad up and running. First, what is your advertising goal? Is it website visits, app installs, or app visits? In my case, it's website visits. As you can see here, this is the homepage on Amazon for the end of marketing. I have a website URL which redirects to Amazon, which is endofmarketingbook.com. And I have the option either import photos directly from Amazon or add my own creative. In this case, I'm gonna upload video, specifically the video that I shared with you before. I'm gonna upload that directly to Snapchat's advertising platform. Now, you can either state that your ad is from your business or from yourself. In my case, I'm gonna put Carlo Skill and the headline is the end of marketing book. For call to action, I'm gonna select get now and then next. And let me go back one step so you can actually see what the ad looks like. I think that's really important. You can see this is what the ad in itself will look like for Snapchat user as they're going from snap to snap, friend to friend. This is exactly what they will see in their feed. 
Now, the next step is around demographics. So who specifically do you want to see your ad? You can select anywhere from 13 years old to 35 plus. In my case, I'm looking to promote a business book. I'm gonna indicate here that I'm looking to reach an audience that's probably right around 25 to 35 plus. Primary language is English. As you can see here, I have a potential to reach between 38 to 39 million Snapchat users in the United States. Now, you can also go to interest and custom audiences. So what's really neat here is that you can type in business, for example, and you can select business news watchers. By doing so, it decreases the number of potential Snapchat users I can reach. However, I'm reaching a much more targeted audience. You can also select the device that users are on either Android or iOS. Personally, I'm an iOS user, so I'm gonna select iOS. Once again, the audience becomes much more targeted. Now, the fun stuff, which is the budget. I'm gonna run this ad for a budget of $250 in total, and I'm gonna run this for exactly a week from today. As you can see here, Snapchat tells me, based on my budget, which is actually $250, that I will receive somewhere between 76 to 142 swipe ups per day, swipe ups themselves being the equivalent of a website click. So I can expect for the budget that I'm gonna spend, which is $250 for a seven day ad, I have the potential to reach between 2.3 to 2.4 million Snapchat users between ages of 25 to 35 plus in the United States interested in business news content. And I can expect on average estimated between 76 to 142 swipe ups. Now, the next step is to click publish, which submits my ad directly to Snapchat. And that's it. It takes a few minutes for Snapchat to review the ad and then my ad will be live. As you can see, my ad is now officially active and ready to go. Now that you've seen step-by-step -step how to use Snapchat Instant Create, keep the following tips in mind. Take notes or snap a photo. My recommendation to you is to be as strategic and organized as possible. Where a lot of advertisers make a mistake is that they're not strategic. They're just throwing money out on the social network and they're not targeting the right users and they're not driving users to where they really want them to go. Instead of driving users directly to your website, send them to a landing page, send them to the buy now page. In my case, I'm trying to sell copies of my book. So as you saw in the example that I showed before, I'm driving Snapchat users directly to Amazon where they can buy my book, learn about it. In your case, I recommend that you set up tracking pixels on your website and or upload your email list directly into Snapchat. The key is to reach the right type of users or quality users which are likely to convert into customers versus just trying to engage everyone and anyone out on Snapchat. And that's it. Snapchat's Instant Create platform is easy to use, effective for reaching Snapchat users, and efficient for converting Snapchat users into website clicks and conversions. I'm Carlos Skill, and I want to personally invite you to add me on Snapchat at the Carlos Skill 83 You can also scan my snap code. And if you have any questions, you know what to do. Let's get it.